Shalom family, so you would have heard about the attack in Russia. The death toll has now risen at last count to 133 in the Moscow terror attack. 11 suspects arrested so far. Uh, the death toll in Friday's terror attack in the concert in Moscow has soared to 133. Russia's top state investigative agency said on Saturday, with authorities saying 11 apprehended suspects, four of whom were directly involved in the onslaught. Now, the videos I've watched, uh, it is horrifying that someone can stand as if they're in a video game with an automatic rifle and just randomly shoot civilians fleeing and screaming. It, it takes a special kind of evil to be able to be that switched off. President Putin addressed the shocked nation in a televised broadcast on Saturday, slamming the massacre as a bloody barbaric terrorist attack. He declared on Sunday, March 24th, a day of mourning. Putin said the additional security measures have been put in place throughout the country following the attack, the deadliest they've had in 20 years. The Islamic State of Iraq, ISIS, has claimed responsibility for the deadly attack in a statement on its affiliated social media channels. And the U.S. has said that it has intelligence confirming that, according to several outlets. Russia's investigative committee has said it's opened its own criminal probe into the attack. However, Putin suggested there may have been a Ukrainian link to the bloodbath. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has denied any involvement by his nation. At least four gunmen stormed the Crocus City Hall venue on the outskirts of Moscow during a rock show by the band Picnic. They fired a salvo of machine gun shots into crowds of people as they ran for their lives, killing men, women and children. The building was left with a collapsed roof after the terrorists started an inferno which ripped through the structure and trapped many civilians inside. Please keep these people in prayer, the families, all of those that have lost loved ones, the horror of this thing that it has had on their psyche. It, it's crazy. Um, imagine just gunning down children running for their lives that went to a rock concert with their families. It, it's beyond depraved and sick, regardless of who was behind it, really. Was it ISIS? Was there a Ukrainian or a Western connection? I don't know. We don't know for sure. I think it probably was ISIS. But uh, you can obviously see why Putin would again use it as an opportunity to lay it at the West or Ukraine's doorstep. All of that aside, pray for the victims Pray for those families that are broken by this horror event, whether it takes place in America, in Europe, in South Africa, in Russia, in Ukraine. It is wrong and it is hectic and it's something terrible for people to live through. Pray that they find Jesus in this time of mourning and shock that they're going through at the moment. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.